Hi, I'm Adele Michael, and I'm back with another episode of Manifesting Abundance and Magic. And today we're going to talk about your stories about abundance and magic. What do you tell yourself about how abundant you could be? Or do you find yourself bumping up against limitations and not really knowing how to get past them? How much abundance and magic do you feel you deserve? That's a big one. And my story about that is uh, about six years ago, I was looking for another place to live. Um, I knew I had to leave um, where I was, where I um, had been for 12 years. And it was just time to go. And I didn't know where I was going. And I happened upon this beautiful apartment in a house on a lake, and it was stunning. Beautiful gardens overlooking the lake. This apartment um, had an office on the lake um, and a, a deck. It was, I mean, it was just fabulous. And I didn't think I deserved it. It was much too nice for me, I thought. Well, I did my mindset work around that and really got into a place where I thought, yeah, I do deserve to live here. And I moved in and I had a very happy five years there. And it really elevated my sense of deserving. I don't know if I'll ever live in a place as beautiful as that, but it really changed me into knowing that I deserve the best that life can give. And I didn't know that before. That was one of my stories that I had to play small. I couldn't play big and that I didn't really deserve. I wasn't worthy of the best things in life. What are you willing to receive? What stories do you tell yourself about that? I had uh, the opportunity to be with a, a good friend that I hadn't seen in over 20 years. We were roommates in graduate school and she was in the area, came by and we had lunch and uh, she had just retired and she had driven to be with me for lunch. So I wanted to treat her and she's like, oh no, you don't have to treat me. But we had talked about this. What are you willing to receive? And then she decided, yes, I will receive your gift of buying me lunch. And it made us both really happy. I've noticed that a lot of women have a hard time receiving. We are great givers, but we don't balance out the equation by receiving. So how much are you willing to receive? And how much magic are you allowing yourself? Or do you have to get in there and make it happen? Make it happen. Turn all the gears so what you want shows up. I haven't noticed that that works really well. What I've noticed that works well is imagining what you desire or having the feeling of what would be very satisfying and good for you. And then letting the universe or the divine or source or the, the field begin to bring you clues and inspiration for action. Action is required, but you don't have to, you don't have to make it happen. You can allow yourself to co-create with the universe. So that's the video for today. I would like you to look at the stories you have for yourself about abundance, magic, money, deserving, allowing yourself to receive. These are really, really important keys to manifesting more abundance, magic, satisfaction, fulfillment, purpose, and mission. That's it for today, and I'll talk to you next time.